You can see Johnny's got the Ichabod hat out again. That means we've got on to another shitty beer. Which beer do we have, Johnny? Star Hill Boxcar Pumpkin Porter. Ugh. Um, ladies and gentlemen out there in beer world, um, this is not a porter. Even on the bottle it says ale brewed with pumpkin and spice. Now, I would like to know if they really used a pumpkin and what spice did they use because it tastes like water either it, it's brown water and you know it's just really not even I can't say awful because it's not like a bitterness or anything to it it's just like tasteless meh but yeah. meh with like Meh cubed. I'm go, I'm go, I could go to my water and or my faucet and drink water that has more flavor than this. I'm sorry. To me, and and it, we were just sitting here thinking about grading this, and you know, DJ said F plus. I said F, but you know what? No, F minus. Uh. I mean, <laughs> this is an incomplete beer. There, I mean, we gave it. We took it out of the fridge. As a porter, we brought it down, brought the temperature down to give it a fair shot. I mean, we had love once. There was no love to that beer. Oh, uh, yes. Um, you know, Star Hill, this is the second disappointing. I think I've had your double platinum, which, okay, I'll give it to you. That was decent, but I'm sorry. Boxcar, that's where it needs to go, and it needs to take a train that keeps going and going. <laughs> Away. Off the cliff. And into the ocean. Dude, you know what pisses me off about this even more? This is a local beer. Yeah. And you know we like going local. Yeah. But we're, we're this only two and a half hours north of Charlottesville, Cortez, uh, whatever it is, Virginia. This beer sucks. Just sucks. It's like Johnny said. It doesn't taste like a porter. It doesn't taste like a pumpkin. It's got no porter. No pumpkin taste. It's got no porter characteristics. Nope. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I would rather I would rather have a Mexican macro lager than this shit any day. I'm not gonna go Budweiser on them. I'd rather I'd rather have a Superior or maybe a a Soul or even a Dos like a Dos Equis Amber than this garbage. I mean, how they can call this a pumpkin beer? They they sh they should be ashamed of themselves because it has absolutely no pumpkin taste. It's crap, and I'm they call it a down porter. To oh. at Virginia to try their tap water, and it probably tastes better than this. So. All right, so I'm giving this a straight up F, and Johnny's giving it an F minus. So guys, if you're feeling froggish and want to leap into this pond and try don't this crap, do it. yeah, don't <laughs> do <away>. it. <laughs> you can, but let it sit on the shelves and let them throw it out. Another Star Hill Star Hill beer with no love. Got to head up to Blue Ridge or Devil's uh, Backbone. Yeah, if you want anything good out of the out of the valley, there, this stuff bites. Anyways, guys, hopefully the next beer is going to be better. This one gets the thumbs down. All right, over and out. All right, we are back, and it was pork time. So that was what I smoked yesterday. Pork is good for like 12, 13 hours with some barbecue sauce that was smoked as well. But decided to have some IPAs, and DJ is going to review the IPA with the pork. Tonight we got 21st Amendment, and we got their Hop Crisis, and this is their Imperial or Double IPA. Where are these guys out of, Johnny? Well, they're not out of California. Because I'm all fucked up thinking they were out of California. Let's try Cold Spring, Minnesota. Cold Where Spring, it's snowing today, probably. Cold Spring, Minnesota. <laughs> and I am here to vouch. I've been to Cold Spring in the winter. Really? And it is really, really cold. The last time I was there was minus 22 without wind chill. Pork. Mm, pork, good. So, beer. Really nice smelling beer. Big hop aroma. Um, to me, it was a lot of grapefruit and grass in this hops. Um, for a 9.5% alcohol by volume beer, you didn't taste it. And the IBUs on this was what? 
uh, 90, 9.7 yeah, oh, <laughs> ABV and 95 uh, IBUs, and really, it, it's definitely hop forward. Um, to me, there's not enough malt bill in it to balance it out. I was especially surprised since it is a Midwest beer. It's real Californian, but... Reminds, that's why you thought it was California. That's right. It reminds me a lot of West Coast IPA, but yes. West Coast IPA, to me, I like better. But um, overall, it's a really good, easy drinking beer. The, the um, mouth feels about medium thin, and it's got a nice dry finish, and to me, the carbonation spot on. Overall, I'm going to give this an A-. minus. How about you, Johnny? Yeah, I love that face of the... <sighs> You know, it, it was almost like a C minus type. Snob. Yeah, a C minus type. Uh, you know, it's a C minus. No, I'm gonna do the same. A minus. Uh, you know, as as you said, Green Flash does a really good West Coast IPA there. Yeah. Um, a little bit more malt balance. Um, and the whole beer, it, it went real well with the pork. Uh, you know, yeah. the high lie and the uh, the hop crisis. You know, to me, there was never a hop crisis because I just drank beer. Yes. <laughs> you guys may have had a hop crisis, but I didn't. So, but yeah, A minus for me. Here's the shame of it tonight, guys. Tonight's the fall festival night, and these IPAs are just whipping their ass. Big and, time. Oh, by the way, the date's on the bottom of this can, so that's another go and says brewed on 8-6-2012, and that's easy to do, spray jack ink. But anyways, guys, I'm going to jam this one. The dog approved it. She drank the rest of it. Really, really solid beer. So thus far, the only Ninkasi, or Front uh, 21st Amendment beer I like better is their collaboration with, with Ninkasi. I like their allies win the war a lot because I like that dark fruit taste, but this one's really solid ass beer. Exactly. So next up, we'll probably be doing a what? Weyerbacher. All right. Mm. It's a pumpkin. All right, Brew Tube, we're back. We've downed some more grub, dessert. And everything, and Johnny's back. And what beer are we gonna review now, Johnny? Uh, this is the Imperial Pumpkin Ale from Weibacher. You may recall, BrewTubers, that we reviewed this at the Northern Virginia Brew Fest. If you haven't, watch that video and click on ads to make us more beer money. And the and the grade of, that we give might be different. That's right, because remember, guys, beer is situational. And that day we had drank how many IPAs? Too many like, count. Like a lot. So, Johnny, let's hear what you think about this one. Um, it hit both of us like a spice bomb. Uh, as it warmed up over time, it got spicier and, oh yeah. I mean, it's made, with, they said, with cloves, cardamom, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Well, I make breads with cardamom, and cardamom really is a strong spice. Plus, with the cloves, really comes out. Those, those two come out really strong with this beer. I'm not saying it's a bad one. It kind of overtakes the pumpkin taste in it. So the pumpkin isn't as strong. It's there, but it's hints of pumpkin, more spicy beer. You know, more, I guess, you know, you're eating the pumpkin pie with all the spices and a little bit of pumpkin. Myself, I'm giving it a B. DJ? Um, I'm going to give it a B plus. I don't know if it's because I'm so happy that one's actually tasting like some, something and not crap like True. the other ones. Maybe that's what it was. There was a date on the bottle, uh, digitized code. I don't like that so much, but I'm still going to go with the B+, because the flavor was big. The only knock I got on this is it maintained its mouthfeel throughout from the beginning, yes. but it gets a little boozy as it warms up. But you know what? It is 8%, so it's definitely an imperial beer. Um, I don't know if you sell this, if the cardamom, cardamom will go down any, but I gave it a B plus. It's, it's a good beer, and as hell, it's the first one that's actually been a darn pumpkin beer after uh, however many we've had. If, it, if anything, I'll just use it in my Swedish beer, or, or Swedish bread making. That's right. That's <laughs> Swedish, beer I, making. Swedish beer making. dang drunk. I do have a Swedish beer in the refrigerator. <laughs> so I'm going to finish this off, mm -hmm. and we'll be on to, I think we got, what, two more, three more to go. All right, be feeling some heavy seas Arr. next. Arr. Oh, good chug. Johnny, I'm afraid of this beer. What what are we doing? It is the fear. Who makes the fear? The flying dog. Oh, oh we're going local. About 24 miles up the road. We got flying dog out of Fred Neck, Maryland. Mm -hmm. And we got the fear. They're Imperial Pumpkin Ale, 9% ABV. Um... Damn, it smelled like pumpkin. Uh, it had a good pumpkin smell. Uh, when we drank it, it was one of these like 
how do we describe this beer? Well, D DJ came up with a black IPA with pumpkin and spices. Uh, the spices very much play into this beer. To me, when I take it, it's it's hoppiness. It's it's a lot of hops there. After that, the spices kick in, and then at the final end, I get the pumpkin, the raw pumpkin taste. Not a lot, but it's there. Spices are high up on this. The hoppiness is high up on. I'm not saying it's bad. I give it myself. I'm gonna give it a B plus. Um, I, I like it. I think it's something. I, I I would buy this again. I mean, for as according to all the pumpkin beers that we've reviewed today, this one is probably one of the better, definitely the better ones out there. So, what do you think? Um, I'm thinking about the same. I'm thinking that B plus range too. It's unique. All the other pumpkin beers are like mimicking pumpkin pie, and they call this a pumpkin, but really, man, it's a it's a big ass black IPA that's had a ton of spices put into it. The pumpkin is really more of an after effect than anything else to me, but I think it's a solid beer. The only thing I don't like is they put their stupid flying dog cryptic dating code on the on the side of the bottle, and you can hardly read that. But beyond that, you know, it's a unique beer among pumpkin beers. And if you like black IPAs, you like that style, you like something hoppy, um, actually it's a nice break from all the pumpkin we've been tasting because it, yeah. even though it has that spiciness in it, it, it's really different compared to the other ones. Exactly. So, next we're going on board a pirate ship. Arr! Or we're going up to Balmer. Yeah, hold on. We'll be doing some our great pumpkin. Great pumpkin from Harry Sheej. So, until then, let me finish this off. Ooh, big chug. Damn, go Johnny. <laughs> Fear me. <laughs>off the ship and the great Arr. pumpkin has been found and my heavy seas geekness has my heavy seas shirt on today guys so should will i geek out about about I wrote, I wrote. about the great pumpkin hmm let's see how great it is great pumpkins eight percent um alcohol by volume 35 ibus at a clipper city baltimore maryland and it's their pumpkin beer there's also the great er pumpkin which is the elevated version of this aged in bourbon Most barrels adventures. okay pumpkin beers all right we've been drinking pumpkin beers and pumpkin beers tonight and really i couldn't tell the epic beer night guys you know what this is the crucible of pumpkin beers and fall beers when you line them up and you drink them back to back like this they can't hide there's no situational about this because they're after one after another and in between we space ipas as you can see with this so it's fair that our palates aren't just destroyed we've reset our palates oh, they're destroyed <laughs> yeah well anyways this one here Johnny and I think both agree it smells really nice. It smells like pumpkin. pumpkin. It smells like nutmeg and spices. But when you taste it, you don't taste the pumpkin. What you no. taste is nutmeg. Nutmeg. And nutmeg up in your face. You know, when I when I need to use nutmeg in a recipe, I use the whole nutmeg and I, I grind it on the little thing. And that's what it, it smells like. It tastes like. It's got that strong nutmeg flavor. Yep. I mean, it's good, but it's a pumpkin beer. And you know, for me, the hoppiness at the front, with the with the spices and the nutmeg, you know, I just there's no room for the pumpkin. It seemed like. Yeah, that's what it's missing. The pumpkin. I think they really needed to put more pumpkin into the beer than they did. Maybe um, I had the Fordham Harvest beer, and what they did with that is they added pumpkin in like late addition. And maybe if they would have done that with this too, it would have balanced it out a little bit better. But all in all, it's got good mouthfeel. You can't taste the eight percent in it at all. And it is above average beer, so me, I'm going to give it a B. It's a solid B beer, and it looks like um, Rate Beer is agreeing with that, and Beer Advocate, I mean, Rate, no, Beer Advocate is agreeing with that, and Rate Beer is giving a little bit higher, but all in all, I think it's a B. You know, I think there was a sale of McCormick Nutmeg. <laughs> it was know, right up the street. Right up the street, so they went, oh man, we need to go get it. I agree, B, you know... I, I, I like it, but I, I need more pumpkin. The smell, you can smell it, but you just can't taste it. Next up, guys, we have what is widely hailed as one of the kings of pumpkin beers. It's the Schlafly Pumpkin Ale. Johnny's going to review that one. We're gonna, oh, oh, wait, I need to do a final chug. Yes, we're going to final do. chug this one, and then we're going to get one more. I'll join you. We're a dozen beer drinking fools tonight. Yep. And that's beets. Ah. Ow. All right, we're back again. 
Yeah, we're I just want to talk about I beer. Talk, talk beer. I just want to drink about beer. Oh, <laughs> we've had much pumpkin beer tonight. We both wearing orange, drinking much pumpkin. As you can see here, I am the great pumpkin. The great pumpkin. If you look at our rack here, we've got. 11 beers tonight and pretty much 12 because you've got a bomber there so there's been no slouching this evening um, it's late the night's coming to a close the Schlafly who's the, the wife's telling you to go home <laughs> yes I'm, I'm poo barred we That's are right. we are chained and bald and bald and chained remember guys who are not married out there this is what happens basically yeah. you want to have that one more beer but you got to go bye bye so know. we're going to bring this to the next time the Schlafly pumpkin and we'll have it with some southern tier pumpkin and also I have the um, what is it from evolution the jack-o-lantern we'll have it with that and I widely you know acclaimed and assumed and confirmed that the two best pumpkin beers are the Schlafly and the Southern Tier. So, so we had to have, have to crap beer tonight? We, we, we had all the rest, and we're going to see next time if these guys are the best. So until the next time, guys, remember, what do we got to do, Johnny? We got to think globally, and how do we have to drink? All the beer that I can fit in my tummy. <laughs> drink locally. And until the next DJ Brew 2, that's a peace out. Ow.